Welcome back to another episode of Home Sweet Home Cooking. I am your host, Rocky. Again, we're in my mother's kitchen. She's gonna sit this one out because she made the last one. Uh, I'm trying a brand new recipe I've never done before. It's called Bourbon Brown Butter Con Pie. I'm in the hanker mood for a con pie, southern style, but I wanted something just a little bit different. So I'm gonna try this new recipe and see what I think. Uh, it's got bourbon in it. So you know it's gonna be good. Yeah, Step I one. Store to buy some. You didn't have any. Because I drank it all. No, I actually am using off the rest of my bourbon, and I'm using a good bourbon for this one—a better bourbon. Um, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, first thing you do is you got to make it brown butter. So on the stove, it's five tablespoons. Five. Uh, you need to melt it down and get it to brown. This is unsalted. And it's gonna take a little bit, three to five minutes. Let's turn the temperature down just a little bit. Uh, what you're doing is you're cooking the milk solids. You're almost making a ghee out of it. Uh, you're gonna cook the milk solids out of it. And it's gonna bring up a very nutty aroma. And you'll see the milk solids will separate out when I get it cooked down, if I can get the camera to cooperate. Um, you can see a little bit of the brown already happening and some little specks in the background. That's the, the, the brown, the butter browning and the milk solids coming out. So I'm just gonna let this cook down a little bit. And when I pour it off in the bowl to mix the rest of the ingredients in, you'll see what I'm talking about. Hopefully it doesn't burn and set that off. All right, so it is off the stove and it is a very brown color. You pour it off gently. You wanna leave as much of the um, milk fats, the solids in the bottom of the pan as you can. You're gonna get some in the bowl. It will be fine. But you can see how brown that butter is as it's pouring. Well, you'll see it more in the bowl here in a second. Maybe. <laughs> you could strain it and give you a strainer. No. The milk fats, the burnt milk fats, actually do add a little bit of flavor to it. Um, I like brown butter. This is the first time I've ever used it in baking, but when I do my popcorn at home, I will start with butter in the pan with a little bit of oil in it, and I'll pop my popcorn in butter, and some of this milk solids is gonna get mixed into the popcorn. I don't have a problem with it. I think it adds a very nutty flavor to it, so I'm, I'm good with it. All right, did, I did not get a whisk. Did I get a whisk? I did not get a whisk. Even though I asked for one. Oh, you did. I remember that now. All right. So, step one. Actually, technically, this is step two. Step one uh, was, well, step three. Step one was the, this calls for uh, an ingredient called golden syrup, which is, uh, you're probably not going to find it in most American supermarkets. You have to go to a specialty market or at least a Whole Foods. Golden syrup also known as treacle, is a British ingredient. It's kind of like a corn syrup, but it's made out of cane sugar, out of white sugar, and water and lemon juice, and you boil it down till it becomes amber in color. So I made a batch of this two days ago. I think so. Two days ago. So I've got this ready to go. So that was step one. Step two is we did the homemade pie crust. Both of these, this is gonna be in a video. At some point, I'll add a card to the end. I'm not sure when, because I'm not sure when this video is gonna go live uh, on how to make this, but you can see it's nice and thick. Ooh, I love that. And the pie crust will also be separate in a separate video. So you can see both of those linked somewhere in this video when I figure out how to link things in videos. Uh, so now this is cooled down just a little bit. You're going to add, let me read the destructions. Why did I take these off my head? I wanna make sure I get this right. 
to the bowl with the brown butter, add the brown sugar, two thirds cup, packed. So I found a two thirds cup mark, I packed it in. Corn syrup, which is also gonna be two thirds cup, light corn syrup. And yes, I am using a one cup measure, but I'm not filling it. There is a line in there for two thirds cup. You could probably use dark corn syrup in here. I don't think it'll make that big of a difference. I just have a little more molassesy molasses flavor, which I like. Yeah, use what you have. Use what you have. So two thirds cup of light corn syrup. Did I say this was healthy? No, I did not. And to that, now when I uh, made the, the golden syrup, I put a half a cup of water in here and I put a little black line on the side of the jar where the half cup went and I just filled this jar up to half cup so I know that this is a half a cup of treacle or golden syrup. Oh, that smells good. And it comes out much thicker than your corn syrup does. Oh, look at that mess. That's awesome. <laughs> That is gooey. That is very gooey. Now the recipe that I made, I've got two more jars full. So that coming up is going to be an actual treacle tor uh, tart, tort, tart. That's good. I like that. Um, it is very British. So at some point you'll see that. All right, now it says whisk it up and give it a little stir here first before I hit the whisker, whisker in there. No, don't put your whiskers in there. Jokes, folks. She's got jokes. I didn't say they were good jokes. I just said she had them. They're Rocky jokes. It was almost a Rocky joke. Almost. He's known for his bad jokes, folks. I am. I'm not a dad, so I can't say I've got dad jokes. I've got funkle jokes, because I'm the fun uncle. You were the fun child, always in the kitchen with me. Yeah, and that's why me and my mom make these videos, so we can get you know, back to the memories of growing up. Rick wasn't in the kitchen so much as I was. I enjoy the baking and the cooking, as <laughs> my waistline shows. Um, it wasn't so much about the food for me. It was about spending time with my mom. I'm not going to lie about that. All right, next step. Um, whisking the eggs. Three eggs at room temperature. One, two, three eggs. What did I say it was the eggs? The bourbon. Vanilla and salt, so eggs. Two tablespoons of bourbon. I like Maker's Mark, I'm using Maker's Mark 46. So at one point, I think my liquor store had the prices screwed up and was only charging a couple bottle, a couple dollars more a bottle for the 46 than the straight Maker's Mark. So there's one tablespoon, two tablespoons, and a little extra. Okay, now I wonder what the pie is going to taste like. The next thing you add, uh, I did say salt, right? How much salt? Uh, one half teaspoon of salt. That's a half teaspoon. And we're going to get those mixed in. Hopefully it loosens up a little bit because this is thick. Of vanilla do I need here? Whew. It's 
some other booze in there. One teaspoon. I'm helping. She's up. <laughs> that teaspoon or that vanilla does not want to stand up on its own. Yep, it's the bourbon working. <laughs> well, the glasses are meant for close up. That's a little bit outside of my focus range. Gotta mix it very well. Don't forget the bourbon. <laughs> I'm out. Go get this. The store and get some. All right, it is loosened up. Next ingredient is two and a half cups of pecan halves. You're gonna take half of them and you're gonna chop them coarsely. I went the extra step <laughs> and I took these and I toasted them last night. Just put them on a baking tray at 350 for about 10 minutes till they started getting a little bit that nutty aroma to them. Then I chopped up half of them and then I put them in a Ziploc bag and in this Ziploc bag <laughs> with this is a half a cup of bourbon. <laughs> So, I soaked, my, I soaked my nuts and booze last night. Uh, it is optional to soak the, the nuts and the, the more bourbon. And uh, When you toast the nuts, they get more of a flavor. Yeah. They're just better. For any type of baking that you do when it calls for nuts, if you toast them first, it does make a difference. Or seeds. Um, that goes to the same with a lot of uh, like cumin and coriander seeds. If you're using seeds, toast them. It brings out the oils. All right, now a pre-baked pie crust, or as my ex-wife likes to call it, a cry crust. Chrissy, if you're watching, that was for you. And just pour that delicious mess oh no okay we're gonna have an overflow we're gonna have to bake this one on a uh, cookie sheet there ma there's a round one to your left I think probably the very back yeah it's running out the other side yep, I see that I'm trying to get some nuts over there to build a dam so apparently you need to use a big pie pan for this and I had one Okay, on your left, over a cupboard. I'm at the very end. The other, oh, you're right. It's my left, I'm sorry. Yes, all the way to the right, not the left. Okay, so we're gonna put this on a pizza pan. 350 degrees for 50 to 55 minutes. And uh oh, it's still set on 400. No, we set it, we turned it down. I turned it down. So 50 to 55 minutes at 350 degrees. You want to take it till most of the wobble is out and then um, you're going to let it set up after that. So we'll be back when this comes out of the oven. That is out of the oven. It is cooled for about two, close to two hours. And now for, I don't want to make myself too much of a piggy here yet. Well, just give me a slumber and then you eat the rest because that would be well, one piece. But it's going to be easier to get the first piece out as a first piece. So that's why I'm measuring it to the scooper. Oh, of course, I went right in where the. Where it was stuck on. Yeah. And where it ran out. Yeah means I know it's going to be stuck in behind the pie crust. Oh, first world problems. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely gotten into the the crust. I can feel it gooey underneath. Yeah, the first piece of pie is always the worst. But that's okay. I didn't bake it to look at it. I baked it to eat it. 
Oh, it smells like, it does smell like a distillery in here. <laughs> There's so much bourbon in this. All right. All right. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Not bad. Too much booze. Did I just say that? You can um, just say that. I like it. But it's uh, the booziness would turn a lot of people off. So don't soak the booze. Uh, don't so, don't soak the pecans in the booze. Um, the the pie part underneath is good, just the way it is. But if you get some of them, uh, <laughs> a lot of them nuts in there. There's a lot of booze in them nuts. So, I think it's a really good pie. I'm not gonna have a hard time eating that at all. Definitely a little bit different than a um, straight up Southern pecan pie. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. And living here in the South, you get to eat that all the time, the Southern pecan pies. I think those are, I'm not trying to offend the Southerners. I think they're just a little bit too sweet. And I think this, the, the booziness of this, um, balances the sweetness away. Uh huh. Um, or if you want to make your southern pecan pie, put a little bit of molasses in it. And take out some of the the corn sugar and put some, uh, yeah, the corn syrup. And put a little molasses in there with it. Would help take the sweetness away. For just a straight up pecan pie, or just put a little bit of bourbon in it. It'll cut it. You know Back. what you could do. You could. Have a beer with this, and then you'd have a boiler maker. I was thinking this would be great with ice cream. Oh yeah. Yeah. You want some? Mm mm. Hey bartender, I made this joke earlier when I think Cam was off. Hey bartender, give me a bourbon pie, make it a double, and instead of saying on the ice, say Alamo. mode. Oh, yeah, it's a good pie. I like it. Give this video a thumbs up, even though it doesn't look as pretty as I hoped it would. Please like it anyway. <laughs> Share this video with friends if you know a bunch of people who like booze in their in their food. Subscribe. I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks. We Have had an day. awful lot of filling. Oh yeah, pie yeah. crust. The bigger pie crust, or at least uh, make one that's taller. So, I'll see you guys in the next video, or you'll see us on the next video. We won't see you. I uh, hope you all had a great day. That's not that bad. Mm -hmm. The more I eat, the more I like.